All right, hello everyone. Welcome to another Sippy and Dom reacts. Um, we're having a have a nice death today. Uh, appreciate everyone who's been giving us all the wonderful commentary on all the videos we've done so far. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have a look at the early access launch trailer. Give you our thoughts on it. If you have any thoughts and opinions, let us know in the comments. Um, I actually don't know anything about this. I've literally just arrived for our our streaming session. Um, so uh, this time, both by flying by the seat of our pants, uh, Mr. Cup, do you know anything about this title? I think it's a 2D side-scrolling roguelike or 2D side-scrolling uh, uh, Souls-like. So it's either going to be closer to, to um, Hollow Knight or maybe closer to uh, is that one that we both really, really liked that we didn't play nearly enough of. Dead Cells. Dead Cells, yes. I played the actual expansion for Dead Cells, but um, before we tangent off into madness, let's have a look at what it's all about. Uh, here we go. All right, have a nice death. Oh, Gearbox. They're uh, in my site recently. Okay. Yeah. Death. It's kind of got the... Um, what's the what game with the bird? That's kind of like been a bit of a theme recently. Death Store? Yeah, got that vibe. That's my. Go. That's on my playlist, actually. Okay. So like, nice traversal mechanics. I like the animation, that hand, like, cartoony. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, Work death balance. Oh, I don't know. I see yeah. what you did there. It feels like a Nickelodeon kind of game, almost. You know, something you see uh, on Cartoon Network. I'm getting Samurai yeah. Jack vibes. You know that same okay. sort of animation? Yeah, the, the Jendi Tarkovsky stuff. Yeah. Very, very much that. So, like, Samurai Jack, uh, uh, Dexter's Lab, early Powerpuff Girls, shit like that. You know, I, I was real nicky picky about this, but I really wish they hadn't used damage numbers. Why not just use a health bar or something? I feel like it... <laughs> they just don't seem I'm, to sit right but it looks beautiful like i love the animations oh, and stuff i'm i'm very much uh you know that that classic taco commercial why not both um give me the numbers and give me the bar okay there you go but if i have to have one or the other yeah give give me a give me a fucking health bar yeah um because like the numbers implies that it kind of there's like a leveling system in this and with most metroidvanias that i tend to run into there isn't it's more like you know like a horizontal scaling rather than vertical um but i mean you go first you're the platformer lover well it did so it would appear that uh you're kind of working your way through corporate hell mm. um and because it had all this stuff flashing forward that we completely blew off but the the uh you know show show your employees who's boss and blah 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 um and then like there was a point where your character died and it flashed back to or zipped you back to the desk where he was going batshit crazy stamping stamping forms um and had options for uh uh cards yeah so i'm guessing like the dying the dying is a mechanic thing of roguelikes. So, like, dying to get stronger, to get the new options for permanent upgrades, and there are probably temporary upgrades throughout the entirety of the thing. Um, like, that classic... Metro well, it's now because of Dead Cells, and Dead Cells has been out for, what, like, three, four expansions now. It is now a classic-style Metroidvania... Uh, uh, roguelike or roguelite and i like i love to see it because i loved dead cells but i think you and i have had this conversation before we're like they just kind of keep doing more of the same and not enough different and not enough new and so maybe this is like the new kind of metroidvania style roguelite yeah i mean th this looks absolutely wonderful and i, I I don't mean for it to tangent into a conversation about dead cells, but these type of genres, they all have a half life. Um, I can only play them for X amount of time before I'm like, I, okay, I spent an, uh, maybe 40 minutes getting to the same area to the boss to then die to repeat over and over again. And I just get, I, I just get impatient and probably a little bit frustrated. 
and I then it just kills the mood because there's no I, I do I like a little bit of safety net and this is purely just from like getting older and having less time I I they just don't respect my time and I just I lose patience with them and I do like the thing with that dead cells as well is that there are a bajillion different weapons. So whereas you may go back and do the same levels over and over again, you actually do get a different experience because you've got a different play style with the different weapons, be it like, you know, they put the whips in there and all sorts of like dual sabers and all sorts of really cool funky weapons. And there's all sorts of different builds. So, but I don't yeah. think this will have that. So I, um, well, see the, th the thing that I would appreciate of this is, uh, Kind of like the way that I attacked, um, what was that? Uh, Raz, uh, yeah. the the uh, roguelike top down isometric roguelike that was put together, um, by Double Fine a while yeah. back. Um, it was one of those where I actually really enjoyed for a period just doing like a run of that like just just one run as long as i can do like maybe i'll play it for like an hour and then i'm gonna go fuck off and do something else and if this is somewhere between that and hollow knight because it had a lot of the platforming elements but it didn't have like the massive number of enemies that i saw from like that that you would see from from dead cells um and i do apologize for the continued comparison there but it can't be helped um so it seemed to have a lot of similar elements, but less, uh, uh, more sparse with the enemies. Um, so I feel like it is doing a bit more to respect your time. Like, give us an hour, have a good time, and then whenever you're done, you're done kind of thing. That's, that's kind of the feel that I have. And maybe you get to do more with that hour as you progress and you get better and you get different things unlocked. But this is all pure conjecture. Um, it's in early access. I think it started early access uh, not that long ago. You can you can try it out like right now, um, and it's got it's very positive. Um, oh, it is available now. Oh, okay, well, developers, I thought, I thought throw us a key. <laughs> yeah, I thought that this was uh, uh, releasing like next month, like April. Um, okay, but well, yeah, I'd love to give it a shot. Okay, well there you go. There maybe we will give it a shot. <laughs> Um, all right, let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, this is have a nice death.